It's cold. The cold front is coming in this afternoon. Well, it already came in, but it's getting colder by the hour. All right, gotta move the cows. We're working on fencing the last section of our pasture so the cows don't get up front in the parking area and they'll be free to roam about the cabin until we get our um, rotational grazing pasture set up. yesterday and then we've got our pretty white fence over there so now the cows can't get through and they can just be out over there Hay bale time. We have an audience this afternoon as we plant rye grass in the pasture we're resting. It's not really a pasture, we call it the dry lot. And then all the rest of the girls are spotted around the other pasture. But these two seem to have nothing better to do than to stare at us. So they've gone all the way around the round pen here, just staring. I guess we're interesting. This is William. He's the calf that um, was born last week. He's doing great. Hey, little William. Alright, Autumn. watch your cows for as long as possible and you actually can learn a lot about what's going on with them you can notice weird little things that might um, be going on maybe someone has diarrhea or has a limp or something like that and so you can also keep better track of their weight and all sorts of things just by sitting on the fence line and gazing at your cows. Thanks, Stanford. All right, we're delivering Autumn, our milk cow, to her new family. Here they are. It's exciting for them. Nervous Autumn. You get to be with the goats. You'll be the boss of them all. Right up her alley. <laughs>
Okay, we're using the rack and uh, washing some equipment for the first time in here. Oh, it's finished already. It's been two minutes. Look at it. It's clean. It's stupendous. My other set of equipment will be done in two minutes. Our first bottle test. We just cleaned this out because it was all pink inside when we first, when it first arrived, and now it's not getting uh, pink soap debris in the bottles anymore. So these are good to go. They're our first washed bottles, ready for bottling from our commercial dishwasher. This is why we like our short wall. an experiment right now. So we have a haylage bale over there and a dry bale over here. And it seems to be working. The cows will visit both. And then it slows down the haylage consumption and saves us, it could save us like $600 a month. Plus, the cows are gaining weight, 
having more dry matter available in this bale versus these haylage bales. So it's pretty exciting. This is our first week trying it, but it's working great. The cows are producing really well. Um, Average is like five gallons a cow. We have two that are lower producers, but everyone else is about five gallons, some a little more, some smidge left. So that's really exciting.